The overall goal of this procedure is to improve the availability of monocytes and to minimize the variation in obtained cell densities during MCSF-induced differentiation of human blood monocytes into macrophages. This method can help answer key questions concerning human macrophage biology. The main advantage of this technique is that human monocyte-derived macrophage cultures can be readily obtained with reduced dependency on donor availability. In addition, desired macrophage cell density and the homogeneous cultures can be consistently achieved. To begin this procedure, obtain the mononuclear cells by leukophoresis from human donors and then enrich the monocytes by continuous counterflow centrifugal elutriation of mononuclear cells. After that, count the cells using a hemocytometer. Next, centrifuge the monocytes in a 15 milliliter polypropylene tube for five minutes at room temperature. Then, remove the supernatant and gently resuspend the cells in FBS followed by dimethyl sulfoxide to achieve a final concentration of 90% FBS, 10% dimethyl sulfoxide, and 50 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter. Afterward, add 1 milliliter of cell suspension to an individual cryovial. Place the cryovials in a cell freezing container and transfer it to the minus 80 degrees Celsius freezer for 24 hours. After 24 hours, transfer the container to a liquid nitrogen cryovial tank for long-term storage.